you're watching this from, if it's morning, afternoon, or night, hello. It is morning time for me, and it is currently December 10th at 9.30 in the morning, and I want to show you guys what I eat in a day to get myself back on track, get my gut back together. If you're on here and you don't follow me or you haven't watched any previous videos, I am basically about I think 12 months now into my muscle building journey but um, my eating is very different it's very tailored to me and what's been working for me so I just want to share what I eat in a day to get myself back on track we're in the holiday season right now I don't want to fall off I don't want to just eat whatever or do whatever I still want to feel healthy and get results even through the holiday season so I've not been restricting myself but on the weekday make sure that I'm consistent um, and then especially if it's like not a holiday so first and foremost in the morning I make sure that I have some water because it just I feel like it kind of wakes up my brain a little bit just to have that first cup of water and to just be able to wake up and that's the first thing that your body intakes after my water I immediately either make a coffee or I make a caffeinated tea so today honestly I don't know if I'm feeling a caffeinated tea or a coffee. I think I'm kind of feeling a coffee because I've been having caffeinated tea for the last two days. I'll use a naturally caffeinated tea, like a green tea or a black tea. Depending on how much caffeine I need, I'll put one to two packs. And that will be like my coffee for the morning, but it's just a little bit of a different flavor. So it just depends on what I'm feeling like tasting in the morning. But I do feel like today I am really feeling a nice like salted sort of like chocolatey coffee and I have these sugar-free Lily's chocolates that I use so maybe I can melt some of that and then just toss it into the coffee I'm not sure but after my water it's coffee time and it's 9 30 after that I typically fast I usually wait to have my coffee until at least 10. When I wake up in the morning like I just woke up maybe 30 minutes ago um I did my devotional got up everything was good to go like I don't eat right away I'm typically not even hungry right away I'm a mom oh if you don't know I am a mom so I will get the kids food ready and I'll do all of that and then I'll fast in the morning I'll typically just have my coffee like around 10 sometimes 11 and then I'll have my breakfast after that so yeah come along with me thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new here definitely hit that subscribe button um because i have a lot of fun content coming so yeah if you are new here definitely stay a while hit that subscribe button so i am going to be making my coffee now And of course it gets all over the counter, but this is what my morning coffee is looking like. Very yummy and delish. So it's about that time for me to get the girls breakfast and get myself ready for the day and get the girls ready for the day and I will be back to make breakfast with you all. Alrighty, it is time for breakfast. So we are actually going to the beach today so that the girls can just make so that the girls so that the girls can make some sand castles.
All right, so the first meal of the day is done. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then we're gonna head over to the beach. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty common breakfast. This type of breakfast I normally have as well as sometimes I'll swap out the eggs and I'll make some French toast with the bread and I use some sugar-free syrup and things like that. So that's just another idea of typically what I would have in the morning or I'll have an egg scramble with like, I'll make a sandwich with some cream cheese. I do switch it up, um, but it's always eggs in the morning. The girls made gingerbread cookies um, yesterday. These are on the table. What a temptation right now. But aren't these the cutest? <laughs> you can see my youngest made these over here. And then our oldest made these. I'm done eating breakfast. I'm so full. I hope that it wasn't cringy seeing me eat with my hands. I just feel like that was definitely finger food. Um, but yeah, now we're about to head out. Just a little update, I usually bring a snack whenever we go anywhere and I totally forgot to bring a snack and Definitely the hunger is kicking in, so, but we're not gonna be here that long, so I'm just gonna be making sure I stay hydrated. And I have a little bit of a migraine, but that's just because I suffer from motion sickness. So every time I get in a car, which we have a truck, so it should be better because it's a lot more space, but I still get really, really bad headaches in any vehicle. So still got lunch and dinner left and probably a little snack for the day, so yeah. Our little wagon here okay you guys so this is like just a local beach kind of I don't know it's still a ways from us but it's look at that guys it's like a dip what in the world oh it's not even that bad but it definitely goes like down it used to not be like that What's up y'all so I got home and I immediately just like did a different look because I wanted to film some Instagram content and I also wanted to film um what was it some I wanted to take some photos and I wanted to film some reels like a get ready with me so that's why I look totally different this is what I'm wearing now some camo with black but this is not an outfits video so um I still need to eat lunch and dinner and probably a snack like i'm really hungry right now so i'm going to mix my snack and my lunch so let's make that because i'm just starving right now and yeah all right gonna need probably actually one cucumber mayo and then this is the bread that I like to use I've been using this one for years I'm gonna pop this bacon into the air fryer this is the bacon that we use and I could use it like this but I want it to be warm because I feel like it just adds extra crunchiness to the sandwich
the ones that I use, and they're just sea salt flavored cauliflower tortilla chips. So this is what it looks like to have my lunch and my snack combined. I do take supplements and vitamins and typically I take those at night. So I will show you guys at night um, the supplements that I take. But it's basically a one a day magnesium. I think I take... Um, fenugreek and then something else that I'm not remembering um, but right now I'm actually about to make a tea because I don't know I feel I just feel like I feel extremely full but I also feel like I want something warm right now and I was gonna make a coffee because I'm not going to front I, I kind of want a little afternoon coffee and I would typically have one but I don't know. I think I'm just going to go for a nice warm caffeinated tea because it's just very gloomy now at this part of the day and I'm going to get some editing done and I just feel like a nice hot cup of tea is going to do really well right now, especially with just trying to digest that big old plate of food. So I'm going to make, let me see. This one right here has been my absolute favorite for the last couple of nights. Actually, no. I think I'm going to do a green tea. I'm just going to stick to a green tea because it'll have a little bit of caffeine, but just not too much because I do want to get some good sleep tonight. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to have a green tea. I'm actually really excited for this game because for dinner, we're having some wing stock. So I did want to talk a little bit about my lifestyle and the way that i eat so i have been i'm actually coming up on my one year weightlifting journey and the way that i have been eating has been working really well for me in specific i know that there are some people that will be like that's not sustainable for me that's not but ultimately like this is the way i eat and this is what i love like i have foods that i love to eat i just make them healthier and I have been doing this consistently. I've never gotten tired of my lifestyle and the way that I choose to eat. And so I know that it works for me. Not only that, but I am seeing a lot of results in the gym. It's been one year. I have been building muscle and losing fat at a very steady, slow rate, but I am getting results. I just wanted to talk to you guys and let you guys know that if you're in a place right now where you're trying to get your health in order, Remember that it's never, ever, ever too late. The world is always going to go on. But as soon as you get sick, notice that as soon as something happens to you that you're feeling unwell, it's almost like the world stops. You can't do things the way you would if you were healthy. And so I want you guys to realize that your wellness is like a precious diamond and you have to protect it you have to you, i mean you're gonna protect it right you're gonna care about it it's gonna that thing is gonna provide for you like if you can cash that diamond in it's gonna give you some money and it's gonna provide for you the same thing is what wellness does for us especially as parents especially as moms or dads i'm telling you your kids are going to have an amazing example if you start mirroring how they have to care about their wellness it's going to be a lot easier for them to carry into that when they get older um, but not only just that it's just living a quality life now I'm not saying to not have fun I'm not saying that you always have to be on like this sort of way of eating like to each their own but I know I feel my best when I'm eating my best I feel my best when I don't skip workouts and I'm going to push myself to continue to do that. That's just the life that I've decided to live. I don't want my wellness to be unhealthy and to be the reason that something happens to me that I can't be here for my kids in the future. And it's the one thing that I feel like we can sort of have a little bit of control of. I know they put these things in the food and that's a whole nother conversation, but we can control a little bit of what it is that we're doing with our bodies and putting into our bodies for the majority part, right? Like the majority of it we can control. And so I want you guys to be encouraged 
I'm someone who struggled with yo-yo dieting. I'm someone who struggled with just not knowing what a calorie was, thinking that I was going to gain weight overnight, thinking that I had to do all these crazy things to lose weight. And it wasn't until a year ago I started learning more about calories, macros, protein, healthy fats, all of these different things, carbs, everything and how it plays a role and how everyone's different. So for me, I have a little bit of insulin sensitivity. It is getting better ever since I have been getting healthier and getting a little bit more leaned out, getting my fat levels down, but I still have it a little bit. I have to be very cautious because sugar still really impacts me a lot whenever I do have it. Not I used to be that girl that would be like, my goodness, like I feel like everyone can just have these carbs, they can have the burger, they can have this, they can have that, and as soon as I eat it, I feel terrible, I feel over, I feel bloated, I feel all these different things, and I'm telling you, people on social media, they only show like a highlight of what's really going on. You never know, that meal could have bloated them, but you would never know because they're probably not gonna show you that. And so what I had to understand was it's not what I do maybe once a week if I'm having a cheat meal once a week, but it's what I did throughout the whole week. Did I hit the gym? Did I hit my protein? Did I hit? Did I eat enough food to fuel my workouts, to fuel my body? Because that's another thing, if you're not eating enough, your body's not going, your body's gonna think you're basically starving it and it's gonna go under trauma. So you have to feed your body so that everything can function the way it should. And I'm telling you, I've fallen in love with weightlifting. I've fallen in love with the process. And I'm not where I wanna be, but I'm sure not where I was a year ago. I am seeing progress. I think I'm actually almost 35 pounds down, but also have built muscle. So I'm sure some of the weight that has not gone down has just really been from muscle gain. And I'm at a really, really content place right now, but I'm pushing and striving for more because I know that I can get there. I know that I can do it now because I educated myself. I took the time to do the research, to see what worked for me, what didn't work for me. I want you ladies to do the same. Or if you're a man watching this, I want you to do the same because you're worth it. Gonna add some lemon pepper to that. So I'm just having my wings right here in our garage. The game is playing right here. I just got a Coke Zero. This is so good. This is what it looks like. And it's so good. Amazing. 10 out of 10. Definitely will recommend. Thank you for joining me on what I eat in a day. Mm. This topped it off. So I just wanted to show you guys the supplements that I take. So I've got fenugreek. I just started this though maybe like a week ago. Really this is for my hair not for anything else, but I heard it has really good benefits on your insulin levels. I take a woman's um, one a day supplement, or vitamin I mean, and then I take magnesium every single night. I do not skip on magnesium.